Height justice for two janitors. The whistleblowers have been fighting for years after they say the Dearborn Heights School District put their health in danger on the job. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville joins us live tonight with a ruling that's in their favor. Aaron. Heather, Teresa, Eli and Robert Smith are happy tonight. They can finally say that after four years. Eli was awarded more than $200,000 for lost wages, medical bills and emotional distress. We've had our workers, co-workers turned against us because of management. We've been called liars. Uh, we've been ignored. I always said District 7 is like fighting City Hall because you're not going to win. And it took a long time to get this far. Robert Smith and Teresa Eli feel vindicated tonight. Still on the job as Dearborn Heights school janitors. They received OSHA's first formal findings about being whistleblowers today. Among the violations it found, the agency says the district directed custodians to dry sand asbestos tiles at Annapolis High School in 2012 without telling them these minerals, which could lead to serious health issues, were there. Eli is the third generation to work for the district. I'm terrified for myself. I'm terrified for my father. I'm terrified that I might have brought it home on my clothing. Those findings show there was no training or protective gear and supervisors were aware students were inside the building nearby. Also stating the first asbestos testing was falsified, evidence of a cover-up. Eli tells 7 Action News she was harassed and called a troublemaker in a district-wide email for sounding the alarm to state and federal regulators, also detailed in documents. Get these people that were in the building at that time tested. The community, the students, the workers, because it's not just the custodians that got exposed. We, of course, reached out to the superintendent. He told me no comment. Their attorney is handling the case. We reached out to him. We haven't heard back yet. Let's send it back to you guys in the studio.